Hi, everybody. This is Story 26, The Gods, Part 5, beginning. Halloran, his sword gleaming with determination, spoke with unyielding resolve. We are the embodiment of change and redemption. Your divine fury will not deter us from our path, he said. The battle that followed was a spectacle of unimaginable proportions. Lightning clashed with celestial magic, and the ground trembled beneath Poseidon's wrathful waves. And now for our fifth saying. When you need, God knows. When you ask, God listens. When you believe, God works. When you thank, God gives more. Ciao! Helleron, his sword gleaming with determination, spoke with unyielding resolve. Their divine fury will not deter us from our path. The battle that followed was a spectacle of unimaginable proportions. Lightning clashed with celestial magic, and the ground trembled beneath Poseidon's wrathful waves. Elena channeled the power of the celestial scepter, countering the gods' assaults with bursts of ethereal energy that pushed them back. Lyria's enchantments wove through the air, dispelling dark curses and shielding her allies. Helleron fought with unparalleled ferocity, his blade cutting through anything in his way as he held the line against their relentless onslaught. But the gods were relentless, determined to obliterate the mortals who dared challenge their supremacy. The battle raged on, the clash of mortal and divine powers echoing through the heavens. In the midst of the chaos, Elena, Lyria, and Helleron began to understand the true nature of the celestial scepter. It was not a weapon of destruction, but a beacon of balance and unity, capable of quelling the gods' rage and restoring harmony to the realms. With newfound clarity, Elena raised the scepter high, its radiant light piercing the stormy darkness. We do not seek your destruction, but your redemption. She cried. As the scepter's light enveloped the gods, their fury began to wane. The storms receded, the waves subsided, and Hephaestus's automatons returned to lifeless statues. The gods, their divine rage replaced by a glimmer of remorse, looked upon the mortals they had sought to destroy. In that moment, they realized the true power of redemption. The battle ceased, and the gods, humbled and changed, returned to the celestial realms, their wrath quelled. The heroes had achieved the impossible they had not defeated the gods, but had shown them the path to redemption and balance. Elena, Lyria, and Helleron, their mission fulfilled, stood atop Mount Celestia, gazing out over a world no longer threatened by divine tyranny. The celestial scepter, now a symbol of hope and unity, glowed with a radiant light, reminding all that even in the face of the divine, mortals could be the champions of change and redemption. Hi everybody, Story 26, The Gods, Part 5, End. Elena, Lyria, and Helleron, their mission fulfilled, stood atop Mount Celestia, gazing out over a world no longer threatened by div divine tyranny. The celestial scepter, now a symbol of hope and unity, glowed with a radiant light, reminding all that even in the face of the divine, mortals could be champions of change and redemption. Ciao!